And we're today we're jumping into Black Mirror. This is season one, episode two. The title of this episode is called 15 Million Merits. Um, so I'm really excited to be getting into this show. I really do like it. Um, the first episode was extremely creepy, very weird, um, very hard to watch at some parts, like the ending. Um, but to tell you the truth, I actually really enjoyed it to be like, okay, so th- this show, every episode is a different story. I just want to know what more stories you guys have got. Um, so we're gonna be getting into this. I know I saw some comments um, from people saying, like, please keep going. Of course we're gonna keep going, guys. I know I am notorious from the reason why I never get like, why do they ask me to keep going or tell me to keep going? Because you guys know, here people on this channel, they know me. They know that if I'm over a show, I'll be like, uh, reaction what? Um, so I'll just stop doing it. But, um, this show so far has really grasped my attention. Some people also didn't know that I was going to be starting this show, so please look on my community tabs where I did say the shows I'm going to start. There are some new shows that I will be getting into. I believe that we're going to be getting into Yellow Jacket. We're going to be getting into Viking Valhalla. We'll also be getting into this another show, Handmaid's Tale or Tale Handmaid's, whatever it's called. Um, and I know there's some other shows that I'll be getting into as well. And don't forget that we're going to be doing top 10 Netflix miniseries that comes out. The most popular shows that Netflix has, we will be watching here on this channel as well. So guys, if you are new, 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 come in, come in. You're more than welcome. Please hit that like button. Please share this video. And once again, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? This will be a full reaction from my second and third tier here on the YouTube platform, as well as my other the platform Patreon. So guys, please sign up to one of those platforms and help support the channel today. Now I'm a reactor. It's time to react to things. Let's jump into Black Mirror and find out exactly what this show has got to give. Hello. Girls in the nasty situations. That one does that sometimes. Hang on. Almost the only real thing in there, and even that's grown in a petri dish. Christ's sake! We had a moon killer club or not? Cheers for the reflection. You missed the bit. <laughs> you see that? Fucking buy it! <laughs> He'll be in lemon and all before long. Each headline is their own tentpole content on one of your eight daylight streams. Each paying their dues like you, hoping to become a hot. That was beyond incredible! Hi, 
didn't let him sign in. Told him to report to 22 down. What do you think? It's a bit much. Yeah. I love choosing my own clothes. And I love gold. It's so beautiful sometimes. I just wish that everyone could see it. Ooh, nice outfit. You can blame me. Try to shame me. Like I can. Oh. Have fun. Uh, I mean, on the. the next situation. Select you. Dick. And the part one. So that must be three parts in each uh, episode. Don't be on a girl like him. That's like life. You like somebody and they like somebody else. The choices. Sorry. Wait, wait, there's a knack to it. You will take your fingers off. Trust me. Short for Bingham. Abby Khan. Abby Khan. Short for Abby Khan. I wanted to go to Erdow, my sister's there, but it's full, apparently. The most natural thing in there is probably growing in a Petri dish. When you get the cheap lardy gunk, you end up having to peddle it off. Then you, then you want more sugar, then you're playing catch up and up. It's a vicious circle. Hmm. I liked you singing the other day. I was trying to sing so no one could hear me pee. I'm not so or anything. It's She's Jesus sometimes. Not often, admittedly, but now. She just noises home. Noises in the right order. Don't downplay, you're good. The song's good. My mum used to sing it and she learned it from her mum. You thought of trying out for Hotshot? <laughs> you see, I'd be halfway to the afterlife coming for us. No, you'd walk it. Hey, I wouldn't. I don't have that clockage. I mean, it's what, 12 mil just to enter? I'd rather not give myself. Yeah, but I'll gift it to you. <laughs> You've got 12 mil spare. Well, my brother left to me. He died uh, last year, um, so he got transferred to me. What do you spend on you then? I'm gonna buy what, some new shoes for my double to wear. That shows me how I look as a werewolf. What's the point? I know, it can be quite fun. It's all just stuff. It's got something real. Wow, he's super nice. What better to spend the one? Is that real? More than anything has happened all year. It's 12 miles, no way. Let me do this. Wow. I just want something real to happen. Mess up. You wouldn't, I don't care anyway. Uh, I'll go with you. No better, I'll force you. Say yes. Walk your way now. <laughs> you loon. See your friends and family allocation? Yeah. Hand, please. That's not permanent, is it? Oh no, two months max. Round to the right and through the scanner. Look, where do we go now? You way here. Oh, with the dark hair? Yeah, 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 the pretty one. They want to preview you. What? Preview. Come on. Wasted here all week and she's just walked in. Everyone will get seen eventually. I don't pick the order. Like to be as big as Selma one day. 
Um, I mean, I could I say that as a self-contained sentence into that screen. I guess I'd like to be as big as Salma one day. Okay, proceed to stage area. Clients? No, thanks. Uh, yes, thanks. It's compulsory for all contestants. She's got to perform. Well, mm. No, just sit here. You'll be fine. Uh, yeah, it's just a touch of light foot. It'll pass. Make the most of it. I don't know. Everything's a bit wider apart. I'm fine. I love that. I wouldn't want a drink for the guy that way. Into the light, love. <laughs> and who are we looking at here? Abby Khan. I'm going to sing. You speak up, love. You don't bite. Can you take off your top? I want to check out those titties. <laughs> She says she's here to see. <laughs> I gotta see those titties, though. <laughs> Please, just <laughs> sing for us. <laughs> Even put me down, still I'll be there. They can see you. Who knows what love is? I just feel so sorry for the ones who pity me. Happiness and love can be Who knows what love is Will understand That was, without a doubt, probably the best piece of singing we've had this season. Yes! Well done! Actually, I'm with Wraith on this one. I don't think Anyone's really hearing it. Certainly not the guys in the audience. They'll want you, women will hate you. All the time you're on stage, in an erotic scenario. Getting pretty turned on, if I'm honest. This sort of interesting innocence going on, and that's something I think writes erotica channels. To be honest, some of those girls might join me. You will never have to pedal a game. Not one minute. Last year we had singers, singers, singers. So many singers. We said right from the start, we're going to go with something different this season. That's why he's on the panel. Your furniture at best. Forget about all the shame and all that. Realistically, sweetheart, it is that. Or the bike. Putting in an honest eye on the bike while you stand in the light there generating and dither. You are cock a snoop at all that as though it's nothing. Maybe you do belong on a bike because you don't seem to be very willing to step off it.
forever. He could be there forever. Down the screen as a self-contained sentence. I'm an entertainer. Uh, before you go on, you need to drink a compliance. Gonna give him one back there. Really? Oh, okay. Planning to do for us. What the fuck? A sort of performance. Oh, I suppose we better see it. Okay. There I'll do it, this is the main archer, keep walking, you kill me. No one stops me, not till I've said my piece, and you could do what you like. Oh man, just fucking kill yourself. Let's hear what he has to say. Have you prepared a speech? Is that it? Speak! I haven't got a speech, I didn't plan words, I didn't even try to. La dee da, we sing and dance and tumble around and all, and all you see up here, it's not, it's not people. And the fake of the fodder is the more you love it, because fake fodder is the only thing that works anymore. Fake fodder is all, it's all that we can stomach. It's so out of our minds with desperation, we don't know any better. The, well, I have a dream, the peak of our dreams is a, is a new hat for our doppel. A hat that doesn't exist more than a meaningless series of lights while we ride day in, day out, going where? Fuck! Fuck you, that's what Bo is down to, is fuck you! To a bone and to a joke, one more ugly joke in the kingdom of millions of you from me! For us! For everyone! Fuck you! Look at that face <laughs> That was, without a doubt, the most heartfelt thing I've seen on this stage since Hotshot began! No, we may not comprehend all of it. I think I'm right in saying we do feel it. I like your stuff. It's not stuff, it's truth. Am I right? Authenticity is in woefully short supply. The slot on one of my streams where you can talk just like that. He goes, all right. You're a little hot there, but I feel kind of thing. You kill me. That was achingly terrible. You have the magnetism of a tower. Sing, yeah? Because it's my destiny and I can sing! 15,000 new double wardrobe options launched last week alone. You know, the only thing stopping me from slashing myself open right now, I might not die right away. And before I went, they find a way to charge my twitching half-dead cadaver. All in this together, they say, yeah, right. To the same time next week. Oh, he got a penguin. Okay, so this episode was a little bit slower than the last episode. I feel like these two episodes actually give us, um, like a story behind it, and that's what makes me so fascinated. Like, I actually want to keep watching the show. Um, and that's what's really interesting. Like, at first I thought I wasn't gonna like it. There wasn't that much dialogue. Am I talking very fast? Good! Um, but there wasn't that much dialogue in the actual episode, but it was extremely long. Um, but I feel like there was a moral story there. I just don't know what it is. Like, I know if I rewatch it more and more, which I'm not going to, um, there's, there's, there's a message, I should say. If you guys saw the messages, comment down below. Do you guys think there was a message in this episode at all? I really feel like there was. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, but overall, I really did like this whole, like, high-tech thing where they're pretty much slaves, right? Not even slaves. They're kind of like mice. Not slaves. Slaves, wrong word. Mice. They're like mice. They, they wake up, they are in a cubicle, thing with Chicky. They're in a room with another room that goes into another room. They eat, they ride their bike, they earn points, merits, and the really only time to escape this lifestyle is to get on Hot Spot or Hot Shot, whatever that was called. Um, so, very sad what happened to that girl. Everybody acting is very good. That guy is on Get Out, right? Um, I think that was the movie. It was called Very Good Actor. You see how he brings you 
such passion, emotion, and drive in everything he's saying. Amazing actor. He's also in Wakanda, isn't he? In uh, Black Panther. Um, I'm pretty sure he is. Was that the guy? I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Um, I know he's been in other films as well. Just a very phenomenal actor um, and brings a lot to the table in this episode that doesn't really give, once again, a lot of dialogue. He really was a somewhat mute type character. Fell in love, it seemed, or cared for this uh, beautiful woman. And um, you see what happened to her story. He did something such a... He, he was doing something good and it turns out that they ended up abusing her and using her, um, just like they do to the rest of them. And I think he just had enough. I thought with the glass he was going to try to run up and try to kill them. And I was like, oh my god, it's going to end with the, all three of them dying. But, um, that wasn't the case. It's crazy that he got mad that she ended up where she was, but he ended up being there as well. Still being used. I would like to know why the three of them are different, or and the people that work for this hot spot thing, hot shop. Why do they live a different life than the rest of these people? And how do these people get promoted to be like that? Minus like, because the people that are go to hot spot or shop, whatever, uh, whatever, they end up working for those three, right? So what makes it, you know? how can I get out of that? So there's that. It's kind of cute that they did a uh, kind of American Idol type uh, gig or you think you, you think you got talent type of situation. Um, so yeah, I really did enjoy this episode. I would give it a lower rating though than the last episode, believe it or not. Also, the last episode was kind of hard to watch. I just, for some reason, got into it a lot more. Um, I would give this episode an 8, right? I think I 8. I think I would give it an 8 still very good. Um, once again, I think it has a, a message behind it. Um, but comment down below, guys, what you think you would rate this episode. A lot of people did not like the first episode, but I kind of liked it more than this one. I want to know what you guys think about this episode. Um, so I, I can't wait to read you guys' comments. Please like this video. Please share this video. And I'll see you next time with more Black Mirror.